the accomplishment of the things that you want to accomplish is not a function of luck. It's not a function of magic. It's not a function of external circumstances. It is a function of how you think and what you do. Are you with me on this? It's not magic, you guys. Some of you even have books that were handed out in your director groups with lists of people and questions to ask them. The idea of success leaves clues means that if you'll take the same steps that those people took, you can be totally confident that you will end up in the same place. Success leaves clues. Second mental factor that will guide us here. Another one that I believe you understand. Y'all probably know how to fill in the blank on this. It says, what you see is what you get. That's exactly right. What you see is what you get. Now, most of the time when somebody says what you see is what you get, what they're trying to convey to you is the idea that nothing is hidden. That in a given situation, person, or event, that you can take it at face value. What we're talking about here is the whole concept of visualization. Many of you would be able to complete the phrase this way. You get what you picture. The pictures that we see in our mind tend to be the things that show up in our lives. Athletes know this. If you watch high-level athletes preparing for their routine, their shot, you will see they're seeing the results that they're looking for because they know that the more clearly they can see it, the more likely they are to manifest that result in their life. Two questions for you. Number one, does this visualization concept apply to sales and recruiting? Yes or no? Yes. Another question, does this concept of visualization work for you or against you? The answer is yes. You don't get what you want. You get what you picture. And one of the things that we're going to be talking about here today is how to put the pictures in your mind that will work versus the ones that don't. Third mental factor that's going to guide our situation here tonight, I'll help you fill in the blank on this one. It says, what you see is what you look for. What you see is what you look for. In other words, the pictures that will live in your mind most consistently and most strongly are the pictures that you teach your mind to see. I don't know whether or not you guys have studied this, but there's actually a part of your brain that governs this. It's known as the reticular activating system. It's an actual part of your brain that acts as a filter. Most of you have probably experienced this part of your brain at work. If you have ever made the decision to buy a particular kind of car or anything else, cars I think are one of the best examples of this. You decided in your head, man, someday I'm going to get me a BMW X3 in midnight blue. And as soon as you got clear on that, tell me, where did you start seeing the exact car? Everywhere. everywhere. You started seeing it everywhere. And it's not that it wasn't there before. It's simply that you had never flipped the switch in your mind to help you start noticing that it's there. So let's add these three things up. If you take these concepts and put them all together, the idea that success leaves clues, that it's not a function of luck or magic, it's a function of what you do. Add in there the idea that what you see is what you get, that the pictures that you see in your mind will tend to be the results that show up in your life. And then throw in the idea that you actually have the ability to teach your mind how to work properly for you. This will lead us to three action steps. You've got four spaces there, but you can jot down three, and if you come up with one on your own, knock yourself out. Three things that you can start doing immediately that take zero time out of your day, and these three practices I have seen change the quality of somebody's experience and life faster than any other three practices that I'm personally aware of. Number one, you all know this, but it bears repeating, is to write down your goals. Write down your goals. If you haven't done it yet, take the time this weekend. Commit it to paper. Don't let your goals just live in your mind. Let them live where you can see them. It's one of the most powerful things that you can do to flip that switch in your mind. Number two, practice gratitude. Practice gratitude. I think many of you know what I mean by this. You hear me talk about it at sales school. And I bring it up here because the more I learn about this practice of gratitude, the more I understand that it's one of the most powerful and most instantaneous things that you can do to alter your state of mind. You've heard me talk about this before, some of you. 
How many of y'all have a problem in your life? At least one. How many have at least one problem? At least one? Okay. See, here's, here's the challenge when I ask a group of book people. How many of you have a problem? They go, we don't have problems. We just have situations, challenges, and opportunities. <laughs> I don't have problems. Shut up. We all have problems. Show of hands, how many of you have at least one thing that you're thankful for in your life? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that ama Did y'all feel that? Y'all feel the difference in the room? There's a palpable difference when people shift their focus from their problems to the things that they're thankful for. Take it a step further. Go back to mental factor number two. What you see is what you get. If you spend your time thinking about, focusing on, and dwelling upon and seeing your problems, what do you attract more of into your life? By spending your time focusing on seeing and thinking about the things that you're grateful for, you must attract more things to be grateful for. It's a law. Third practice that I always encourage amongst our clients, study success. It's one of the things that you as a group instinctively do better than almost any other organization that I ever get to work with is you study success. Think about this for just a second. By looking for what works, you will see more of what works in life. And if you're seeing more of what works, you will automatically attract more of what works. It's a natural law that has to be done.